Oh yeah, where's my horse? Oh look, there it is. The horse is only where you're not looking. It's like Santa Claus. And no, mall Santas are just Santa's helpers. Jeez. Shouldn't be watching this game if you don't know that. Let's go talk to the Baron about his daughter who's away from him and his wife who's probably dead and or a witch. Oh. Hey, what's going on here? Halt! Stand in Jew! I challenge you! Okay. Boots a bit big, maybe. Careful not to trip. Halt, I say! I am Ronvid of the Small Marsh, bound by a sacred oath. Oh, that's rough. My sympathies. <laughs> to honor Maid Bilbury, fairest of all maids I know, by dueling a hundred knights to the death. Now, oh, draw God. your sword post haste, for I have knights in hand left after you. So this is definitely one of those situations where she was like, yeah, you gotta duel a hundred people to the death and then I'll marry you. And he didn't realize she was just saying no politely. Hmm. Why are you challenging me? Don't recall doing anything to offend the maid Bilberry. Well, uh, why? Um, then swear. Swear! Maid Bilberry's the most loveliest of all. Thing is, I've never laid eyes on her. Aha! Ah! I shall wash your scorn away with thy blood fiend. <laughs> this guy's so Stand pathetic. Can I just not kill him? Can I put away my swords? I don't wanna, I don't wanna. All right, maybe I just won't cut him to pieces. Oh, okay. I just didn't want to kill him. Had enough. Yes. Luck stood with you. But, but the next time we meet... Challenge me again. Raise your hand. Draw your sword. Look at me the wrong way. And I'll kill you. You so sure of that? Yes. <laughs> we shall see. Uh. Okay. Um, so that happened, um, I hope next time he shows up he'd be like, 99 are behind me and you're the last one left. Because this time he was like, you're the first one and then there's 99 left. Are you selling anything good? Spot a cider for you? Or a bit of dry curd? The lad is not exactly burst him, but what I got sure to please. Sure thing, Merchant Beefcake. Like to take a look. If it weren't for our oh. Remember me? Didn't I kill him? Stable hand pulled you out of the oh. fire. We'll never forget that. Dear, I'm grateful. Nice. Thanks. I paid for a Gwent card. Whoa! Gwent must be definitely a game for the nobles. How do the poor people play Gwent? Oh, they just they just use knockoff cards or something like that. They use cards with really shitty art. And Geralt won't let himself play with shitty cards like that. Stealing the goods and blinding those poor bastards made the Baron sad it did. Now I'll have them stick a hot poker in your eye. Alright. Guess, guess it's just happening. Witcher, a word, please. Who's this fuck? Believe we've not had the pleasure. They call me the sergeant. Oh. Left over from my army days, you understand. When me and Philip, meaning the Baron, served under a Temerian banner. Wanted to ask you about something. What is it? That night, when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. <laughs> what did you and the Baron do? <laughs> Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is. 
garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk? No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sits. Nothing here for you. Oh no, you were the guy that snuck into that room, right? Hey friend, you gotta eat. There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story. Insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, were called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms will please Daya most. Though it's good to know her spirit's free. You've got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Mm-hmm. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? Is she all right? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Well, I'm not bringing her back. Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? No, but I talked to the man who helped her escape and then took her in. Tamara is safe and sound. From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again. No intention to return. I shan't trust some peasant dog. I shan't trust right. whoever it is helped her. I need to know for certain she's safe. Okay. Go to her. You must be sure. See her yourself. I shan't believe anyone else. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go. That much I can do. I'm grateful. Take this. Call it enticement. Ooh. And this might prove useful. What is it? A letter of safe conduct. Ever since the Redanians took hold of the Pontar Delta, they made it damned hard to get to nobody <gasps> without one. That's what I needed. Very well. You were to find them both. What of Anna? Learned anything? Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Siri, like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. Oh, good. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. Oh, like, do I get to be Siri again? She is OP. That lass of yours. Pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size. Why, worthy of one of King Faltest's feasts, were he still among the living? Siri, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you done well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where they teach you that, anyway? Hmm. A little here, a little there. Not surprising, given you wander the world alone. Not alone no more. She's in the company now. That's right. You're a member of the company. We're drinking together, killed a wild boar as a pack, you might say. But we've no notion how you arrived here. A woman in a man's garb, razor on her back. Who exactly are you? You a mercenary? Let's say I go about my business. And when there's coin to be earned, I don't readily turn it down. Planet I've cool. always held with the world how it is today. Lasses ought to know how to fend for themselves. All right, all right. A woman could swing a sword. I've knowed one, but never seen a lady mount anything but a cock mm. proper. Mm. All tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. That's only because of dresses. Perhaps you care to wager? Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black mare. The one in the stable. Ooh. Oh, that won't do at all. Well, that's an awfully gloomy face. Too much of a coward to race a woman. Oh, okay. The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself, I'd consider it an honor. 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, <gasps> I take your sword. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. And we start at daybreak. Can't lose my sword. It's my Witcher sword. Hey, it's a hair. The day dawns. Ready? As ever. First one to the tower. Man chop. Do I get to ride the black horse or? That's weird. Come on, Siri. Don't you embarrass us. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, sticky keys. I turned that off. I mean, my horse has a million stamina. Did I win? I hope so. Your wind, not woman. Worthy of the best horse. The mare is yours. Thank you. What? Another chance to win. The fuck? What is this? How do I not get to fight it? She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even were it to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this, never. Uh oh, I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Working on it. And making piss poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry, I'll find Anna too. I'm not gonna play Gwent with this asshole. Uh. Ooh. Heard anything about there being witches in Velen? I pay no heed to peasant babbling. Common folk say witches, wizardry, devils, and who knows what the fuck else every which way they turn. Alright, whatever. So long. Oh. Things are right. Witcher! When you find my daughter, will you give her this? A rag doll. <sighs> Uh -huh. I, I don't want to. I'm if it gives me an option, I'm not going to. All right, here we go. It's like a mine or something. Oh, it's a bandit camp. Now, do you think that guy is going to attack me as soon as he sees me? Or are these going to be friendly bandits? Hmm, doesn't look like it because there are marks on the ground. I don't want to kill the livestock. They've done nothing wrong. Ah, here we go. And shit down your neck. Go. Don't let oh. Him out. He's yours. Well, that's awkward.
I wonder if they take falling damage. Cheesing it. Dun, 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 cheesing it. I have the high ground. No, no, loot. Stop. Did I rescue these people or destroy their protection? Like, it's a little unclear. Um, is there nothing to loot down here? I hear some stuff. So I think the most damage I took there was from falling. That was my fault. These poor bandit deserters, they, uh, just, you know, shouldn't have fucked with me. Could have had a conversation. And then they might be alive right now. And still have all their stuff. Oh, that's something. No passage. Case of the plague surfaces in the city or something. The plague? Uh, no. We're to not let folk in the city. It's an order, so I don't. Unless someone's got a pass. This what you mean? Let me look at that. Mm -hmm. uh, missing a seal. The red one. Impossible. Department of Civil Defense forgot again. They're really off their heads these days. That happens, so be it. You may come through. Yay. Come through. Alright, so the tutorial was in settled areas, pass it to be narrow and obstacles numerous. Oh. Great. you want, like, sex or anything? To talk about, huh? Nobody wants sex. Nobody's flirty. I'm looking for Tamara, the Bloody Baron's daughter. Your brother said I'd find her here. Voitex sent you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight away. She's gonna go at the back. That's where I'd go. <gasps> kitty. Make the kitty love you. You're looking for me, and who might you be? My father sent you. Technically. Yeah, to see if you're still alive. And well. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well, Geralt of Rivia. Better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine. And now that you've seen me, I bid you farewell. Wait. We've nothing more to talk about. Your father's a vile man. You're angry and bitter. Can't blame you. Why do you help him then? Why did you take this job? Because he knows something about someone dear to me. Promised to tell me if I found you and your mother. Got it. A bit of blackmail. Just his style. I think that's more well, of extortion. Now you found me, you can tell him I'm alive and I'm never coming back. Voitek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands and that a monster dragged her into the woods. Is that true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire. And then that creature leapt from the woods i don't know what it was but it roared so fierce my nose bled Who? i saw it topple trees i've never been so scared in my life and that that thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods i wanted to turn back go after them but the, the horses panicked now i don't even know if she's alive what will you do now find my mum you realize that might not be that easy 
Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. Hence the candlesticks in your room. So you believe in the eternal fire. Once the heat of the fire has set your heart aflame, it gives you strength and leads you down the path of truth for the rest of your life. I hope it'll bless you with its warmth one day. <laughs> Thanks. Thing is, fire's tricky. It's easy to get burned. What about your father? Who? Oh, him. I don't care. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life? Forgotten it already. Well, well. <laughs> a witcher. Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Desperate fathers have been known to do a lot to find their daughters. No. Unexpected from a witcher. <coughs> I thought your mutations cleansed you of humanity, stripped you of emotions. You don't need mutations to strip men of their humanity. I've seen plenty of examples. Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Graden, witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the Bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for Tamara, she can make her own decisions. Hmm. <coughs> Noble of you. A killer for hire abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The Hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. Where are you gonna take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the Eternal Fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Before you go, your father asked me to No, don't something. give it to her. Clara? Father told you to give me Clara. Funny how he thought to buy me back with a memory. Tell him one gesture could never make up for a ruined childhood. So long, Witcher. In spite of all, I'm... Well, I'm grateful you gave me a choice. Didn't force me to go back to the tyrant. Hope you know what you're getting yourself into. So long. And good luck. No, you have to go too. They're going after the mother. Nibbles! Aww. Hi, Nibbles. I'm just gonna steal a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I have to go back to the Baron. And I'll be like, well, oh, why didn't you go with her? You should have found my wife. Oh, I think I might have just... I think I might have just killed that kid. Alright, your daughter doesn't want anything to do with you. You're a terrible father. Yeah, I'll go find your wife. Oh my god. Yeah, I know I haven't found your wife yet. Can I just kill him? I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Gave Tamara your gift. How'd she react? Probably not like you'd have wanted. She threw the doll away. Threw it away? Oh, God, I hoped, despite all. Oh. She hates you. You're a terrible father. But what of Anna? Still don't know anything specific, but I'm on her trail. Am well, I? Will you stand there like a knob? Find her! Whatever. So long. In Velen? No, what leads do I have? The only lead I had, I let just walk out the freaking door. I feel like the wife maybe was becoming a witch or a sorceress. So, like, this will be the way to do this. Really roach behind a house. Run and then 